Do you love breakdowns? Do you need stats? Do you crave insight? Download the All-Star app, UFC, Bellator, PFL1 Championship, and more. Ad-free, fully customizable. Download the best app in the business. Link in descriptions. UFC 281, the main event, Israel Adesanya versus Alex Pereira. This will be most likely a fight that will have no grappling, and they're just going <laughs> to, you know... They're gonna strike. They're gonna they're gonna show us the highest level of striking we've have we have, we probably do you think we've seen that level of striking in the UFC ever? Probably not. Probably not. In an equally matched, both of them, this is what they do. Yeah. Uh, Skill set. I feel I feel like you'll get good strikers, but nobody that's come from a an amazing strike. You know, like the glory background in other weight classes. I got the people that have taken glory fights and have done, you know, glory stuff, but neither of them come with the the hardware that, that these two are, are bringing to the table at the same time. And to have them in the same weight class, to have them have the, the background uh, beef that they've, you know, kind of had with their fight, and it makes it a uh, it makes it an interesting go. But I, I mean, I do pose the question: Who shoots the first takedown? I feel like somebody's going to do it. I feel like they're going to get into a position where somebody's going to be like, you know what, I'm going to change this up. I'm not going to have the big balls to say, well, I'm just going to win this here. You know, I feel like somebody shoots the takedown and now sets a different tone because if you have to worry about the takedown, your striking is going to be slightly different. And it just changes for everybody. That's, that's normal. So does somebody say, I'm just going to put this in your mind in the beginning, even if I don't really want to be here? You know, Adesanya has an amazing wrestling coach uh, in front in uh, Frank Hickman. I mean, you can't. That's one of the. I mean, one of the best guys on this side of the world. You know, when it comes to coaching for this, you know, he's he's really shown the fighters that he's worked with and people that travel to work with him. You know how good he is. So, is he imparting that offensive wrestling skill set to Adesanya's game? You know, but at the same time, Pereira's you know, works with Glover Teixeira, who, you know, let's be honest, has built a career off of, yes, I punch strong, but I'm going to put you on your back with a single leg and then smash you from the top. So, you know, do they change the game plan knowing that Pereira is going to be so much bigger? I mean, so much bigger. Um, Yeah, that could be a way it goes. It'd be interesting to see. Pereira, he has a couple wins over Adesanya. The, The revenge factor, you know, the emotions... That, that are heading into this fight, could they play a factor? I mean, they, they always can. I feel like Adesanya's, I think he'll keep a cool head about it. I, I, I think he, he understands what a, what a five-round fight really has to offer and where you can pick and choose your moments. I don't think that he's somebody that's going to lose his cool. Um, yeah, I, I think it's, I think he maintains his his, uh, his composure through the fight. I think he he stays right where he needs to be. Um, that being said, that's a big man he's fighting. So, yeah, Fair is huge. Uh, yeah, I mean, did you see the picture with him and uh, Dominic uh, Reyes? <laughs> yeah, he's bigger I'm than like, him. Come on, man, that's not even. It's getting to the point where I laugh. I mean, I, I used to consider myself a big middleweight at, at a time, you know, maybe a decade ago, which, God, that hurts to say out loud. But I, I these guys are massive, massive fighters right now. Um, and so you're just sitting there going, okay, a four-ounce glove with somebody that's walking around basically at, you know, 230 pounds that cuts to 185, and you're like, my big question is, can can he go five rounds? Yeah, at you know after taking that cut, right, the weight cut. Oh, I mean that's you know nobody's. I mean these people have pushed him for you know he's had three round fights and you know a couple here and there, but I mean is is he gonna be able to go five? You know if he doesn't get the knockout with somebody that pushes the pace in a little bit different manner, can he actually go five rounds? Uh, I don't know if I if I I would want to put him on his back just to see. Yeah. 
if I was Adesanya, I'd be I'd be interested. I'd say, okay, you know, he's a purple belt. He's it's not like he's brand new to jujitsu. He's been training for however long. Like, okay, like let's see, like put him there, make him a little tired, because everybody knows that wrestling is the most exhausting thing you could possibly do. You know, jujitsu, you find places to rest. Striking, you find moments to breathe. Wrestling, if you haven't wrestled for your entire life, is by far the most exhausting thing that anybody can do in a fight. Uh, so maybe he tries to put it on him early. Maybe he tries to wrestle him early just to see if he can just make some dents in that wind, you know, in that tank. You know, just see if he can start to let a little air out, and then all of a sudden the striking's not the same come the third and fourth round. Uh, you know, active things to think about, but I think it's going to be a hell of a fight.